you guys welcome to my Venus through sign series uh, this is for Venus in Leo so if in your birth chart Venus is sitting in a sign of Leo this is for you um, and if you don't know where your Venus is sitting uh, you can just go to any free astrology website such as astro.com enter your birth time place location and it's going to generate a free birth chart for you look and see where Venus is sitting if it's in Leo like I said it's for you um, now you don't have to know your exact birth time to find out what uh, where your Venus is sitting so don't worry about that you can just enter 12 p.m. it doesn't matter um, uh, and also uh, for some of you Venus and Sun will both be in the same sign so that's okay this still applies to you as well um, okay so I have already shuffled and cut the cards let's go ahead and begin here I want to thank all of you guys for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel um, I ask that you all please continue to do so uh, remember these are general readings so they may or may not resonate but hopefully they do okay so uh, starting off um, the heart of the situation is the four of cups we have the Seven of Swords, Seven of Coins, then we have the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Sun, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Eight of Cups. Um, okay, so starting off, um, either someone has been closed off to you or you them. Um, for some of you, I feel like this could be you and you're waiting on someone else, like you're bored with the offers that are coming into you or you're bored in your relationship. You're just kind of keeping to yourself. You're, um, haven't really been able to open up and express how you feel and for some of you it's like you don't know how you want to express yourselves for some of you because you've been keeping to yourself your partner uh has been spying on you and trying to understand you like they they don't they don't understand you they don't understand why you're keeping so quiet they don't understand you know this and that so they're uh probably uh, prying into your private life looking through your uh your diary or trying to look at the history on a computer or checking out sites that you've been through been to going through your text messages so someone has been creeping around trying to understand you um also those of you that are shy uh or are into someone who is shy and not opening up you might might be spying on them uh in order to gain uh, better understanding of someone um, now for some of you why you haven't been paying attention or because you haven't been paying attention to your partner they've been creeping out and doing things behind your back uh, because you aren't paying them any attention they're like well since they're off into their own world you know let me go do this and find gratification somewhere else because they're not you know paying any attention to me and that could be have this could be happening to you I mean like you feel ignored so you're creeping out on your partner because they aren't paying any attention to you so something is being done um, um, in secret or there is um, you're holding the fact that you n might know like for those of you that are an outsider looking in and none of this is happening to you you could be a witness to someone who is cheating on their partner you're like wow uh i know they're cheating on their their spouse and i'm not saying anything you know i'm just gonna keep it to myself because that's none of my business so for some of you that is going on um and two i feel like some of you became impatient and you know that's been the cause of your actions or your the things that you're doing that for some of you are even out of character because you you lost faith in something and so you're like well I have been waiting I was trying to be right and act right but it wasn't going in that direction so I took matters into my own hand and I did this even though it was underhanded so there is some level of cheating 
uh, or dishonesty going on either with you internally or with your uh, relationship. The Three of Wands, for some of you, I feel like you're longing for someone. There's someone that you want to be with, someone that you're thinking about. And you can't open up to them for whatever reason. You can't tell them how you feel about them. You're waiting for them to make the first move or you feel like you have done all that you can and now you think that they they should come out and they should pursue you or they should uh, make an effort in or take the initiative in coming forward or doing something. I feel like some of you are starting to feel like you're going to miss your boat or, you know, like you a missed opportunity is a possibility and I feel like once that happens you're going to um, either you're going to pursue someone or they're going to pursue you in order to you know mark their territory someone's going to mark their ter territory like okay I claim you I want to be with you I'm opening up I'm you know I'm, I'm taking a stand I'm putting everything out there I'm going out on a limb and I'm just hey uh, forget all the other people forget the zero and be with a hero <laughs> I just want to say that but yeah it is kind of like uh forget all the others i'm here like pay attention to me i you know i want to be the one um and for others of you you're having to defend your relationship because you feel threatened by a third party or your intuition is telling you that your partner is cheating or creeping out so um you are you know standing up for yourself and you're like look you can this is not allowed in a relationship that type of relationship that you have with someone so it's inappropriate or you know whatever the issue is in a relationship I feel like at some point you're gonna have to speak up and you know say hey you know this isn't fair so some of you might feel like you're you're being dealt the short end of the stick in a relationship and it's time for you to speak up about it um and then for some of you you feel i feel like you might have to fight off others because someone could be like i said you feel threatened that a third party is is going to enter or take over your relationship so you're having to uh let it be known that this person is taken um for, some, for guys, maybe you, you get that engagement ring and you uh, make that proposal uh, or is something that is changing your status or for females, some of you are putting that picture up of you and your guy or making him put that picture up like, hey, put our picture up. Like people don't know you're in a relationship. You need to do this uh, to show that, you know, you're taken. So somebody, something's going on where you're feeling like, uh, threatened or like you have, uh, have to compete for something and, you know, don't want to be taken advantage of or want people to come enter in your, uh, relationship or your space. I feel that, um, the truth is going to come out about something, whatever has been withheld, like, uh, whatever's been kept in secret is going to come out. It's going to be exposed. <sighs> Something about infidelity. Somebody's been uh, juggling more than one person. Uh, I see a Libra. I see an Aries. And I feel like maybe a Sagittarius. But I feel like uh, something is being revealed to you. The truth is coming out. And also for some of you, I feel like you're going to be the center of attention. You're going to get whatever the tension, attention it is that you've been craving and desiring. Like, like you like to have your ego stroke. You need to know that you're loved or you need to know that you're cared for. And I feel like you're going to get that. You're going to do something to get to give I almost want to say push somebody's buttons so that they give you that attention that you're wanting there's some sort of plans that you're trying to make um but there's a missing piece of the puzzle someone holds the key to your heart and you don't want to move forward unless it's with that person um so for some of you I feel like they're is a relationship or two people like there's two possibilities but only one of them holds the key to your heart um 
one of you you you're very passionate about there's a strong physical attraction between you and someone now some of you could be mistaking physical attraction for love so be mindful of that as well um but I feel like something about this relationship is healing I feel like this person opens you up sexually in ways that you hadn't been before like you're like wow I never did that before and they, for some reason this person gets you to do things that you've never done before uh, this person challenges challenges you and not just in bed but also spiritually and creatively uh, this person inspires you with the eight of cups there is some emotional baggage that you've been holding on to that you need to let go of um i feel like this is part of the reason why you haven't been able to move forward or move away from someone i feel like for some of you you're drowning in your sorrows even though you know it's time to let go and move on or you might feel like um, that emotional void. I feel like there is something that causes you to become very emotional at some point. Things that are deeply within your subconscious are speaking to you. Um, I feel like you become emotionally vulnerable uh, at some point. This person brings out your vulnerability. And you realize that, I don't know, they have something that you're lacking or that you're desiring that you can't have. I'm feeling like something, you're feeling like something is unattainable at some point. But that's all in your head. Um, I feel like you're being overwhelmed by something at some point. I feel like you can't reach, like you can't reach, like you're trying to, but you can't something's missing you can't put your finger on it hmm okay so going into that second week uh well the week of the 19th i feel that you're going to be in isolation um I feel like there is some soul searching that you need to do I also feel like you're being enlightened like this person has whether you realize it or not has put you on some sort of spiritual journey or path also you could be dealing with a Virgo but I feel like there's a lot of wisdom that you're learning. You might also be studying about um, studying something in regards to school or studying something that's very spiritual. I feel like it's more so on a spiritual level, like you might be um, trying to do some sort of research to understand yourself better or why you keep getting into certain situations or why a person is behaving that way. So it's like you're studying um, their birth sign or you're studying um, something that has to do with spirituality, um, whether it's chakras, um, astrology, um, manifestation, alchemy, there's something that you're looking more, taking a closer look at. This is causing you to go within, uh, to look within yourself. Now, I'm, I'm seeing some secrets. And I'm also seeing you becoming guarded about something. Like, you become undecided about something because I feel like someone's going to enter your life. Uh, we have the lover's card. And I feel like someone's going to enter your life and it might start off as a secret affair. But there is so much passion between the two of you for some of you, not all of you. This is a twin flame that has brought you on some sort of spiritual path or journey. 
uh, sometimes but twin flames aren't always in our life to stay they're just there to awaken us to our calling but this is someone that you have a strong passion with um, you may be faced to make some sort of decision uh, whether you're single or in a relationship if you're in a relationship and to me the lover's card is saying that someone is going to come into your life even though you're in a relationship someone's going to come into your life that challenges your relationship or your beliefs like you thought you were with the person that you were supposed to be with until this person came around and now you're like wow I wasn't expecting that this is usually a curveball um, this person is someone who you connect with on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, on a sexual level. It's like an intense connection. And many oftentimes you can't really even explain it. Um, but there's just that connection here that's drawing you to, uh, together. And it's like you can't deny it. It's like you can't deny the chemistry when this person comes around. Um, and this person is almost like uh, you feel like it's your other half it's like we just connect like I feel uh, like there's a telepathic connection with this person this person knows what I'm thinking they know what I'm feeling we don't even have to talk you know like the connection in the bond is that just that strong and so if you're in a relationship um, yes I do feel like this person kind of intervenes in your relationship they they like come out of nowhere um, or like something happens like you're going for instance like you um, are going to meet up with someone um, like you're in a relationship and you make plans to meet them but you missed your your bus or you were late and while you were running late because you ran late you ran into this other person that is like divine intervention so it's like this person had to come into your life uh, to make you recognize something um, also this person is like a mirror image of yourself so things that are within you uh, whatever state of mind you're in this person is a reflection of that um, in some cases is good some t cases is bad like if you have things about you that need correcting this person has come into your life to help you recognize your errors your flaws that you need to resolve within yourself um, if it's on a positive level this person is the person you've been waiting for this is the person that you are mostly closely matched with that is a reflection of your beauty uh, of all the the things that you deserve and their reflection of it um, so if you're single this is also just overall a good sign it, it means that someone's gonna come into your life it's up to you whether or not you want to move forward with that person or not but someone does pop into your life and you're gonna have to make some sort of decision um, for some of you it could be a Leo for some of you it could be an air sign it could be a Libra uh, Gemini Aquarius um, but like this person is very uh, mysterious they're very enlightening um, I feel like this person is very intellectual I feel like they see right through you and that it attracts you and scares you at the same time for some of you it's like you're coming face to face with someone who is the same yet completely opposite so for me that is someone that comes from a different background um, like I don't know race gender whatever it's something that is completely opposite not for everybody um, but we both we have both the moon and the lover showing up so I feel that this person also triggers some sort of fear or anxieties uh, or insecurities within you. So at some point I feel like you might be a little paranoid. Um, for some of you it's like you are uh, an empath and you are connected to other people's emotions. And so that confuses you. You think you're sad but really you're picking up on someone else's energy. Um, that's, that's an empath. And so some of you might have that ability or you could be dealing with that person. But I feel like this is for you. Like you're realizing that you have some sort of uh, ability where you're able to connect with someone um, psychically or telepathically or emotionally. Um, but also this with the moon is, is about um, having to face some sort of deep insecurities that you have. 
uh, needs correcting and it's going to continue to haunt you these insecurities are going to continue to resurface until you resolve these issues it's also about depression and and uh, possible mental disorders too uh, such as OCD or being bipolar I'm not a medical doctor but just saying that um, you know these are these are what causes these mood swings or fears that you have to deal with and face that are within yourself so you might have to seek professional help uh, to understand why you're having these mood swings that you don't understand or why are suddenly you go into depression or something but overall I feel this more so has to do with someone that you become very insecure around uh, they reflect or bring out these insecurities within you Okay, so with the Ace of Cups here, I feel that there is going to be, like you're learning how to love yourself. Like this is a major lesson for you, um, but it's also a possibility of having a renewal in your relationship or because of some sort of experiences that you're going through, there's going to be a renewal of love in your relationship. Um... And I feel like something's going to be revealed to you or there's going to be confessions being made. Like either you're confessing how much you love someone or that you're in love with someone or that uh, they're in love with you. Uh, now also this could be someone uh, making it known that they're in a relationship or making some sort of public announcement about their love life. Um... I feel like at some point, though, whatever is revealed that comes out, it's telling you to continue to have faith and to keep going. Um, just follow your intuition. You're on the right path, even if you don't understand what's happening, where you're going, why these things are happening. Um, I feel like you're just going to be like, well, you know, I'm just going to keep going with the flow of things. And you should. Um, you're not alone, even though you might feel like you're alone. You do have uh, spirits around you that are guiding you on this journey. And you are going to be blessed. Like, this is a blessing in disguise. Uh, especially those of you that might be going through some sort of hardship. This is a blessing in, dis in disguise. And you will be healed. Um, I am seeing a strong telepathic connection with someone again, though. Um... There is a strong connection that you have with someone that is either at a distance, like in another state, or it's like you aren't necessarily together with this person, um, but you guys both end up thinking about each other at the same time or texting each other at the same time, or like when you log on to Facebook or you log on to Instagram or something like that, they're like the first person that you see, their, their post or their messages is like the first thing you see. And it's almost like because you guys are both in alignment um, or vibrating on the same uh, frequency. Um, some of you are being called to follow your passions. Like, you're being guided. I, I just see this as being guided and you don't even realize that you're, you're being um, led to the right path. Like, you're not being misled. Just keep going and following your intuition. Um, and then two, <laughs> told you guys, somebody is spying on me. Some This this card has shown up in every reading. And I know it, for me, this is also saying that someone is, is watching me. Um, a water sign, I feel like, is watching me uh, for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, but for some of you, uh, you could be dealing with a... Um, a water sign uh, so Scorpio Pisces cancer or someone is very uh, psychic or intuitive I feel like this person is highly spiritual um, I feel like the, there's a deep empathic bond that you have with someone and something else I was gonna say yeah, some of you might find yourself investing a lot of time and energy into uh, this person. 
or someone might be doing this for you. Someone's nurturing you and taking care of you. Uh, if it's not happening to you, then this is this is you putting all your energy into this person. Um, it's like having a deep love for someone. It's like unexplainable, I want to say. Yeah. All right, so you guys, this has been... Um, this has been a general reading, but I hope it did resonate. Uh, for private readings, you would email nomad76 at gmail.com. That's in the description box below. Uh, please make sure to subscribe, uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're leaving your comments. Uh, even though I don't get a chance to respond to everyone, I enjoy reading all of your comments. Um, but thank you so much for your love and support. Many blessings to you all.